Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and I've got a question for you. Have you ever been in a situation where you have the best product but you fail to display it because you don't have those fancy equipments that every pro professional uses? But today, that's about to change. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Jango King, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to pan and zoom in one shape and more. So let's get to the tutorial. So for this project, I'm going to be using uh, this sample uh, clip. This is the VR box that I have. Uh, of course, it's custom painted. So uh, I'll drag it down, and uh, pan and zoom are a great way to make your clip look more interesting. So once you have your clip set up. You can select that clip and uh, uh, this is just basic uh, clip it doesn't have any movement so we're gonna be adding some movement so we'll make it a bit more interesting because right now it's like me uh, I'll, um, let's see, I'll click that select that and uh, go to this uh, crop and zoom and you get this menu uh, so you can also get this menu so uh, you can right click Selecting the clip and uh, you can click that drop and zoom option or, or, or you can you know get the command alt C so from here go to that pan and zoom option and you have this end frame and start frame so you can set this up and uh, the uh, clip will move from the start frame to the end frame and you can just drag them down and uh, resize them so that how much you want uh, you can fit that area and down here uh, you can also uh, do the manual or 16 by 9 or 4 by 3 so manual the problem is that you get these black lines and uh, they don't look pretty good so I'll go with the 16 9 you can also go with the 4 by 3 but uh, it's too small it's like a phone I think so 16 by 9 is the best option so I'll go with that and you can uh, set up the end frame first because uh, then you know how to pan so what you want at the end frame uh, you know like uh, if I want to do a horizontal swipe in this clip so I'll do from the left to right so now that I the end frame is there I'll drag that star frame down and I have to make this fit so not a pretty tight fit but the both frames look pretty identical and uh, once you have that size correct you can move that down and uh, that arrow means that it's going that way and you can see it's pretty slow but uh, we're gonna fix that in a minute so uh, uh, depending upon the size of clip it's gonna be fast or slow but now just click ok and you have this so if your clip is too long and uh, you get this slow sort of like a turtle tortoise I don't know what to call so uh, to fix that you can go to menu double click the clip and uh, increase that speed so I'll just one up it 2x ok and uh, does make the clip short but uh, short and interesting so uh, let's play that so it's a bit faster you may not notice it uh, but you can also increase it a bit more and you have uh, what you, you have this basic pan zoom which makes your clip more uh, stylish and uh, where worth the watch so that is the basic pan and zoom so once you've done that your whole clip you may have something like this and uh, you have a very interesting clip like a product review you can use this for product reviews or anything you want it's all up to your choice but this is the basic tutorial Hope you guys like this video hit hit that red subscribe button if you enjoyed this video uh, and click the like button uh, and share this video to all your friends this is Django King signing out from Tech Sprout peace out